Hi there viewers, welcome back to PL my PLC Guy um, YouTube channel. I uh, had one of our viewers come in with a question on how to use OneShot effectively uh, with an output in RS Logics. So rather than write down the question, I thought I'd make a, a question, the answer to the question, I thought I'd make a short clip on how to do that. Now I've added a, a clear function at the top of our program just to make sure that the bits are set in the right format when the program starts each time. It's a fairly simple and straightforward um, thing to do. Uh, we, we have one input that's uh, addressed on rung 1 and rung 0. We have two one-shots, both uh, on rung 1 and one zero, and then we have one output which is a latch bit, which is the latch is set on rung 1 and the latch is uh, reset on rung 2 and the output of that latch instruction on rung 3 goes and addresses the actual physical output to your PLC. Now that's not totally necessary rung 3 but uh, it's a, probably a, a best case programming. So if we just go and have a look now and uh, toggle the on off latch bit on off uh, switch and there we see we've got an output at our main output and the switch is still on so uh, that's fine and then we go back to our on off switch once again once our process is run or whatever other part of the program we have operating that input and we toggle it and the output goes off. Now sometimes you might have the uh, input uh, on rung zero on when your processor shuts down so I'll just demonstrate what happens when the processor restarts. So we can stop that from happening. We don't want that to happen. It could be dangerous in some circumstances. So that's why rung zero is there. Obviously you don't need this branch here. It's just to demonstrate. So if I toggle that bit, you'll see that the outputs do turn off when we first start our program. So hopefully that's been all very helpful. Uh, thank you very much for listening along.